Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Montessori Dictionary. Today's term that we're going to be learning about is vertical grouping. Maria Montessori revolutionized education for us. She completely changed the way young children were educated. And one of the things she introduced in her classrooms was vertical grouping. Now what this means is mixed age grouping. We are used to horizontal grouping. That's how most of us were educated, where one age group is in a class. So in one classroom, you will have children from two to three years. And then in the next classroom, there will be three to four years, four to five years, and so on. But in a Montessori classroom, children are vertically grouped. So in one classroom, you would have about 20 children ranging in ages starting from two all the way up to six years, five and a half to six years. Now, a lot of people find this very strange. Why would we put children of different ages in one classroom? How could this possibly benefit them? And that's what I'm here to tell you. So it's important for us to first understand why did Dr. Maria Montessori want to group children in mixed ages in one classroom? Now, she believed that during the ages of two to six, Children are going through very similar changes and they have very similar needs. And that's why they can be grouped together in one classroom to learn. There are so many advantages of vertical grouping. Let's talk about one. Children get to work at their own pace. We've already established over and over again that every child is unique. They each have their own potential. When we put them in a class with Children only of their age, they are stuck doing things that everybody else is doing. How about if this child can move faster and they're able to learn more? How about if this child needs a little help and they need some more time to master a skill? In a vertically grouped classroom, this is possible because everybody is working on their own activity. They're working individually at their own pace and they're able to develop to their personal best potential. In a vertically grouped classroom, they build stronger relationships. Now these 20 children, let's say I'm the teacher, these 20 children, they start with me, they will be with me for four years till they leave their preschool. So as a teacher, I get to understand this child so well because I work with them for four years. I understand their moods, I understand their temperaments, their likes, their dislikes, their strengths, their weaknesses. And as a teacher, I'm able to guide them and support them to the best of my ability because I have such a deep understanding. Similarly, these children will be together for four years. They form very strong relationships. They help each other. They, the younger ones look up to the older ones as role models. The older ones develop leadership skills and the ability to nurture the younger ones. They learn how to be patient and guide them. So a lot of social skills are developed through a vert vertically grouped classroom. It's also important to understand that this vertical grouping actually mirrors what happens in real life. When we go out, we don't just stick to our own age group. I don't say, well, you know what, I'm 50 years old, so I'm only going to go out with people who are 50, right? We meet people who are younger than us. We meet people who are older than us. And there are always things that we are learning. We learn from the younger ones. We learn from the older ones. We teach both, you know, older and younger people. It's beneficial to us. That is real life. And this is what Maria Montessori was trying to do with education. She was trying to create a room that is as similar to society, to real life as possible. And in real life, we would mix with people of all ages. So now I've explained to you what vertical grouping is and why it is beneficial to the young child. I hope you've enjoyed this today. And if you have, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. And I will see you again really soon. Have a beautiful day.